you know, get a good cheers, a good Irish cheers. That was awful. Welcome to the vlog. Today, we have no friends around. Uh, there's no crazy work things going on, so I'm hoping to just do the Q&A. You guys asked me a bunch of questions that are not related to any specific topic, just like, hey, what's up, Minolta? I wanna know how you do time lapses. I think that was one of the questions. So we're gonna answer stuff like that today. So get excited to have your questions answered, plus to get a new question to ask me. In the last video, I asked you guys just to ask me general questions. I didn't give you a specific thing to talk about. It was just like, hey, what do you want to ask me? What do you want to know about me? Blazing Death asks, how long have you had your dog, Coda? I've had Coda for almost seven years now. Coda, I'm going to have had him for seven years in September. Uh, so lucky number seven, Bungie would be proud of me. Pinkie Pie asks, how did I come up with the coffee cup? So the coffee cup was actually something that uh, in my very first video that I ever did for Ready Up Live, uh, I just, I put like cr in crappy handwriting on a, on a coffee cup that I had, I put the question, what's your KD, like what's your kill death ratio for Halo on this mug? And I held it up to the camera at the end. And it was just like a, a goofy little bit, but it ended up getting a lot of traction. People laughed about it, thought it was funny. And so I just kind of kept going with that. So I used the mug in a whole bunch of videos in a bunch of different ways. Uh, I still have it. I don't use it nearly as much. The last time you would have seen it is in the, I think the second or third episode of the vlog. It it's shown in the thumbnail. So if you go back and look at the vlog, second or third episode, I think it's called The Big Move, has uh, the, the mug in it. Military King 453 wants to know what my average work day is like. So we have flex time here at Reaction, which means I can come in anywhere between 8 and 10 a.m. and then I just, I have to work for eight hours and then leave. Uh, the thing is that with my job, I usually, I'm usually here for about eight hours, but I would say that typically it's more like nine or maybe even 10. Uh, <laughs> some days more recently. So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely not, not usually less than eight hours, I would say uh, is my workday length. Jason Patino wants to know why the sky is blue and the reason is because you touch yourself at night. David Eaton asks, what software do you use for your content creation? Video editing, live streaming, capturing gameplay, etc. Thanks. Okay, so I'll give you the rundown. For editing and all of that, I use Premiere. The, I use the Adobe Suite for pretty much everything. So I'm gonna use Premiere for all of my editing. I use Photoshop to make all my thumbnails. I use After Effects for a little bit of extra jazz when I can. Uh, in terms of game capture, I use OBS, but I have XSplit as a backup, uh, but I primarily use OBS. I have an Elgato game capture card, and I actually use the Elgato game capture software to take in-game screenshots and record clips. That's the software that I use, not OBS, to record actual clips. I only use OBS for streaming. DMB Studios wants to know what my middle name is. My middle name is Scott, so my full name is Jeffrey Scott Wood. Say that really fast fast out loud and you'll see why it's funny. C. Dixon wants to know what my favorite movie character of all time is, if I had to pick one. That's tough, but I think I would say the Joker. Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker in The Dark Knight is probably one of my favorite performances, and I think that the Joker is probably my favorite villain of all time. The performance that Heath Ledger gave by him and, and just how the Joker fits into the Dark Knight, it's such a perfect portrayal of that character and the core tenets of what make the Joker the Joker. And that's what I, I love about it. So I would say that the Joker in the Dark Knight, my favorite character of all time, hands down. 
Sheen Hunter, a uh, wonderful person, I met her uh, at PAX a couple of years back, and she says, uh, my question is, where do you get this music? Uh, I always provide a music link in the description below. I go on SoundCloud and just search around for tracks that are not commercially recorded. Uh, there's lots of great music on SoundCloud, specifically uh, a guy named Joakim Karud uh, is who I get most of my music from. I'm a Patreon of his. Uh, I love his music, I think it's great, and so I love supporting him. So definitely go check out his SoundCloud, become a patron of him. Uh, he makes great music, it's fantastic. I pretty much exclusively use him. I use a few other artists here and there, and if you're ever wondering the link is yeah always down in the description anyway that's it for the Q&A uh, thank you so much for all of your questions guys I really appreciate it I uh, I really like the just the you know ask me anything ones still gonna eat this burrito I got lots of meat thanks for all of your questions and I will tell you what the next Q&A is and the questions that you can drop me below at the end of the video So that's the end of the day. Yeah, that was, uh, I, I think I've talked about it before, but every Thursday we do like a Thirsty Thursday, which is just, we kind of hang out, we drink, we party. I like reaction, it's a good place to work. Way cooler because I can drink alcohol there. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for today's vlog, and that's it for this week of vlogs, uh, as you won't be seeing Friday's video until next week. I always release them on Monday, but what that does mean is that I got a little surprise for you. See, tomorrow I will be doing a different vlog. I'm headed to Calgary for St. Patrick's Day to see a U2 cover band, U2 Station. Like I said, in the weekends and on Fridays, I'm trying to do different stuff for you guys. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is the end of the video. Stay tuned next week for U2 Station and maybe that rowing video depending on how much work I can do over the weekend. My name is Jeff Wood. You might know me as Minolta1034 and I'll see you next time. I totally forgot to give you guys the next question for the Q&A series. So let's go back to video games. What is, besides Halo, what is your favorite video game series or game? Tell me that. What's your favorite game? What is the game that touched you in ways that you just should not be touched, but you liked it anyway? Not Halo. Not Halo. If you put Halo in the comments, I'm going to be mad.